Budapest goes a long way back with traditional coffee houses. But which are the ones that you should visit if you come here? And what's their history? Let's learn about them in this video. Cheers! The most famous cafe in Budapest is the New York Cafe, which proudly promotes itself as the most beautiful cafe in the world. The waiting lines in front of it truly show its popularity, and once you enter and finally get seated, you'll easily understand why. The interior is just gorgeous and magical. You'll immediately feel you've left the city and traveled back in time to some sort of a baroque French palace. No wonder this establishment used to be the favorite hangout spot for the intellectuals and classy folk of Budapest when it opened. It's easy to lose time as you admire all the many details surrounding you as you listen to the frequently scheduled gypsy music. But the New York Cafe is not perfect. The food and coffee served here is just average, but the price they ask for is way too high for this quality, and the service simply cannot hold up with the insane popularity, which you'll definitely feel as you are crammed close together with the other visitors. It's still a nice place to visit for the interior and perhaps a simple coffee, but luckily Budapest offers so many more cafe experiences for you to try. But which ones are those cafes and by the way, why are there so many of them here in Budapest? Coffee is so easily available today, so it's hard to imagine why people needed these grand spaces to get their daily dose of caffeine. Well, the thing is that back in the old times, as Budapest grew in population, the available living space didn't follow as rapidly and people were living in smaller apartments than my kitchen. During those times, people's homes were more like places where you went back to sleep after work. There was no TV, no internet and no video games, so you had to go outside for some nice experiences. There was a need for a space where you could enjoy some nice beverages and food along with the company of others. A place where you could spend some quality time in the good hands of nice service where you could discuss the latest news, share your thoughts and ideas with others, or write your poems and novels in comfort. This place was the cafe. One of the many remaining old school cafes from that era is the Central Cafe, which opened a few years earlier than the famous New York Cafe. It may lack the luxury and spectacle of the world's most beautiful cafe, but its interior is still elegant and the many small details like books and other antique items bring a bit of a cozy vibe too. Like many traditional cafes, the experience isn't only about coffee. There is an extensive menu of food you can choose from and they have a dedicated brunch selection as well, which we tried when we visited. The shakshuka and french toast we had on our visit were just excellent and the atmosphere was just perfect with the subtle live music. The service was friendly and the prices weren't super over the top, but definitely not cheap either. The seat and table setup may have felt a bit crammed as more and more people came, but in the end, we walked away with a truly nice experience. Another historic cafe that was founded even earlier and is still operational today is the Gerbo Cafe. With its ideal location in the heart of Budapest, it welcomed famous guests back in the day, like Empress Elizabeth of Austria, also known as Sissi. Known for its world famous confectionery selection, it's an ideal place for those who are looking for some sweet items. But since it's a traditional cafe, it also offers full meals and even brunch. But the one thing you should definitely try is the popular Hungarian dessert named after its creator who once owned this establishment, the Zserbo cake. The flavors of apricot jam, ground walnuts and chocolate mix so well in this wonderful dish. However, I am pretty sure you'll enjoy any of the several other dessert items they offer here, many of which are traditionally Hungarian. 
The name and the careful craftsmanship of this establishment comes with a price, however. It's a super expensive cafe, but a pro tip is to get slices for takeaway as it is cheaper versus ordering them to a table. However, if you wish to visit a place of historic significance in the world of desserts and don't mind the ridiculously high price, I would not miss out on coming here. For our next place, let's try to get a bit more cozier. Located between some less frequented streets of inner Budapest, at a nice little square, you'll find the Gerlóci Café. Its history also dates back to the days of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy and offers a slightly more peaceful experience with an extensive brunch menu, a decently sized meal menu and some delicious sweets that change day by day. It's a smaller and more intimate experience that you'll get here, and while the prices are more on the average side for brunch, the restaurant menu is on the expensive side, so either grab a breakfast here, or like we did, a coffee and some delicious sweets. During warm weather, by the way, the terrace in front can also offer a bit more of a Parisian vibe. Those of you who are interested in Hungarian history might be wondering where one of the most iconic cafes is on this list. That would be the Pilvox, which actually today is more like a restaurant. It's not even open right now and it's just past two o'clock or something. This place is famous because the Hungarian youth in 1848 came here, made their demands on what they want to change when the Habsburgs were ruling Hungary. And that's where March 15th, 1848, is very important for us. That was the start of the revolution against the Habsburgs. And unfortunately, this place does not have anything to do with the vibe of that cafe, which was here at that time. By the way, you may have noticed that most of the times in these videos that we make, I'm wearing stuffed cabbage branded stuff that we have created. And a lot of you have actually asked, where can you buy these? Well, right now, there is actually a website we have created where you can support the channel and also support your fashion with these wonderful stuff. If you go there, it's the link in the description below, or we have also connected it with YouTube, so you will probably see some links down here below. If you wanna support us and get a nice t-shirt or a pullover, that's the way to go. Thank you if you do buy something. Now let's continue this list. Close to the beautiful State Opera House, you'll find the Muves Cafe. Its name may be a reference to many of its famous visitors who were poets, painters or theatre actors, since Muves means artist. Sitting inside is like taking a time machine back to the early 20th century. You'll surely be observing the many antique decorations for minutes and admire the classic vibe this cafe has. Although it offers some breakfast and lunch menu items, the place truly stands out with its confectionery selection. Back in the day, the previously mentioned Gerbo company operated a branch business here, hence the place was referred to as Mini Gerbo, and up until today they offer high quality desserts for you to enjoy. Its prices may be slightly above average, but it's a unique and cozy traditional cafe that can be an easy pit stop as you explore the famous Andrashi Avenue. Close by hidden in a small side street, you'll find a peculiar establishment, Café Zhivago. A place that feels as if you stepped into your grandmother's house, it's one of the most unique places on this list, thanks to the many old furniture and decorative items. Its name is a reference to the famous Russian novel, Dr. Zhivago, which becomes more evident once you find the popular snack item from Eastern Europe on the menu, the pirog. The snacks on offer may be limited, and the coffee is kinda average, but the staff is nice, prices are reasonable, they offer alcoholic drinks as well, and are open until late in the evening. I personally will surely come back here, because the vibe is truly unique. It kinda feels like you are in a house party at the place of your grandparents. Our next cafe is a bit of an odd one. While Hodik may have a history that dates back to the early 20th century, it went through changes over the decades and is more of a modern establishment today with some rustic vibes. 
But bits and pieces remind us that this place used to be the favorite hangout spot of famous Hungarian poets and writers like Frigyes Karinti and Dezső Kostolányi. One of the desserts is actually inspired by the flavors Karinti enjoyed in his time. As a modern cafe, the menu comes with some gorgeous lunch items, which also taste very well, I must say, even if the prices are a bit of on the higher end. What's also cool about the place is that it is connected with the Sotyor bar, which brings some ruin bar vibes thanks to its wacky interior. If you go for a chill time in the nearby Gellir thermal bath, you can easily add this place to your itinerary. The last place we'll show you is a bit different from the previous ones. Rusworm is the oldest as it was established in 1827 and it is a must visit place when you explore the Buddha Castle district. It's not a real traditional cafe, it's more of a confectionery that offers some excellent Hungarian local desserts. One of them is Kremes or cream cake, which Rusform is very famous for. It's a real hole in the wall kind of place, with old furniture and items surrounding you. But with its historical significance comes a huge popularity, so if you wish to visit, we would advise you to come early soon after they open at 10 in the morning. That way you can enjoy some delicious sweets in a more peaceful way. One important thing to note about Rusform is that there is a risk of it shutting down due to some legal disputes. But let's hope that doesn't happen. However, make sure to check their website before you want to visit this place. But again, I really hope they will make sure this place will be open for the next couple of hundred years like it was in the last few hundred years. So in the end, which cafes are the best and which one should you visit if you come to Budapest? Well, the thing is that it kind of comes down to your personal preferences. What kind of experience are you looking for and what is your budget? But if you're here watching this video and want to find out my personal take on this, I actually have two places that I really enjoyed visiting in this video. To me personally, the Centra Cave has had the excellent balance of fine food and a really good vibe and the service was also really nice. I am pretty sure I will definitely go back there for a lunch or a dinner at some point. But on the other hand, Café Zhivago probably had the best atmosphere thanks to the old and antique decorations, the nice stuff and the prices were also reasonable. So I will definitely go back there, maybe not for the coffee, but to grab a beer with my friend. However, when it comes to good coffee, I still prefer specialty coffee places. But what about you guys? Have you visited any of these cafes on this list? Or do you plan to visit some of them perhaps? Leave a comment below, let us know, share your experiences. And also don't forget to subscribe because then you'll definitely see our future videos where we show more about Budapest and Hungary. And by the way, thanks for watching this video. See you guys in those future videos. Bye bye!